today. Look, first off, though, um, all this week, actually, we've been marking Dementia Awareness Week by talking to those both that live with dementia and those that care for them and the groups available and so on that make a massive difference for those living with the condition. Well, today we're talking about the links of music and dementia. And for people with the condition, even those who've lost their ability... Well, essentially to communicate at all, or perhaps at the end of their life, music can be a really powerful way to trigger positive feelings and to connect with other people. It is a remarkable thing. Well, earlier this week, I was joined in the studio by Kyle Newman. Now, she is a singing for the uh, brain leader for the Alzheimer's Society and for Leicester Musical Memory Box. Well, Kyle brought in Shirley and Ray Stokes and Martin Corey with her. Martin and Ray are really good mates and both have dementia. And Shirley, Ray's partner, began, well, essentially just by talking through his diagnosis. Ray was diagnosed during COVID. That was all done on a Zoom call. Didn't see a doctor, all on the Zoom. Um, and then the diagnosis comes by letter. And then you think your world has just fell apart. Um, and then I read a couple of books and a bit of reading and realised life goes on. And that's why we joined groups. And luckily, Martin was already joined one of the singing groups. And we followed, really. Yeah. And um, it's been an absolute revelation yeah. for us. Um, I know, no, I'm not talking... Uh, I'm, Ray, I'm acutely aware that I don't want to talk over you. One of, the, one of the ways that your dementia expresses itself is you struggle a little bit with, with, with conversation. Is that, is that right? Uh, uh, vaguely, yeah. yeah. But... Unvaguely, <laughs> it could be uh, from, say, I'm talking to to him, I'm talking to you, and it could go away uh, from... Will you lose track, track of the conversation? Of, of, mm. I think I'm talking about something, and all of a sudden, you could go away, yeah. and I... I You've, you've lost the conversation. Lots of conversation. Yeah. That actually uh, applies to me as well. Not, not in a defined amount of time, but Ray will talk, and I'll talk, and we'll we'll just lose the thread of what we're trying to say. Mm. Yes. And the person listening, unfortunately, doesn't get it. But mm. when you're together, though, is that frustrating for you, or do you just cope with it because you're both experiencing it in the same way? We were. In, in your uh, place, in don't you? Yeah. And you get into it, and there's a big round uh, thing Good. going around. Good. So uh, we could come out with uh, you could here, here in this, you were there, and I were there, but the the the, the people could still come round, and they'll talk to you as well, which is. Brilliant, you know. Aww. You, could, you mm. can get up and and you think for myself, uh, I ca I've got I've got to go and have a, a laugh with them and, and stuff like that. It sounds to me yeah. that you we set all we set out a big circle of chairs, don't we? And of course, not yeah. everybody necessarily knows each other. That sounds to me, Ray, that even though you might lose the thread of what's going on a little bit sometimes, that you feel comfortable. Yes, and you feel safe. And I have to say, it is hard to keep him down. And you will go and chat to you will he will you'll cross that circle, won't you? Yeah. And go and talk to other people. And it's just become this great big friendly group. Mm -hmm. And and it's taken a little while, particularly for our city group, to recover from COVID. Even mm -hmm. now the numbers are still not as high as they were. People coming to our group, but they are growing again now, yeah. and we're getting that lovely, friendly vibe. Yeah. And it's been so important that folks like yourselves have kept with it, even when the numbers were lower. Mm. But you've experienced it now, and the numbers are bigger, haven't you? Particularly well, the, in Blaney, it's bigger from there. it. Oh, enormous, really. Because even when we go home from the group, we still the memories are coming back when we're having dinner. Oh, you will bring a photo, Kyle. Yeah. Uh, one rings about Doris Day. Um, <laughs> and then it sets a trend for the afternoon, What her songs. So when we get home from the group, we're still sort of singing some yeah. of those songs. Ray's <laughs> memory goes back 
to the days when Doris Day was yeah. his pin-up. So I had the pinner up. <laughs> easy, easy, Ray. Yeah. It's a family show. Um, look, Carl and I, we've spoken about this before, haven't we, about mm. how um, photographs can, music particularly, can access memories that are more difficult to get to. For you, Shirley, that must be profound to see Ray remembering things that perhaps he hasn't been able it's to... It's amazing, absolutely amazing. Last week, I think you played... Um, flowers in your hair uh, and we suddenly both looked at each other oh my god the 60s it brings you back to where you were what we were wearing you know it was still it's just yeah. brilliant one song and it yeah. starts a conversation it's martin brilliant. is that the same experience for you it does occur it's it's from a, a different sort of I'm, I'm a little younger than the others um so Dor doris day no but but <laughs> I, it, something will... The clash. <laughs> well, yeah. you say You that, are a bit yeah. more of a rocker, aren't yeah. you, Martin? Let's face it. That's very kind I, of I think you so. are. <laughs> but, yeah, um, different time or different artist, uh, I'm going to apply to me. The, the group suits all. Mm. Yeah. That's yeah. what I'm trying to say. Mm. And uh, we all get a bit of different things from each of it, whether it be the Monday group or, or whichever. Mm. Shirley, I spoke to a group of carers a few days ago in, in Quorn, actually. There's a, there's a deep dementia group there, and, and all of the carers said, without exception, that joining the group had been life-changing. Mm. Yeah, yeah, oh, yes, Steph. Definitely. And our friends are amazed. They say, where are you going again? What are you doing? It sounds great. And I think they thought we'd shut ourselves away in a darkened room from diagnosis, and this has just completely changed... Our life, really. Yes, it, it, We're out and about, and you have a bad morning, but you know you're going to be singing in the afternoon. There must have been times post Ray's diagnosis where you thought that that's what was 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 coming. Draw the curtains. Absolutely. Put the telly on yeah. and, and wait for the end. Absolutely. Yeah. It hasn't turned that way. No. That no. takes a bit of determination, though, doesn't it? I think it's a lot of effort goes in to try and work the diary out now. <laughs> it's so busy. <laughs> Busier than before. I don't think I need to say very much. And there's three million me. emails from Kyle. <laughs> uh, Kyle is quite determined. There's no doubt about that. He's a very organised person. And Kyle, the thing is that these groups, whether it be your group or other groups, there mm. are lots of them about yeah. right across the East Midlands. And you know, the one thing I've learned from talking to lots of people quite intensively over the last few days is that the groups make a difference. It doesn't matter what the group is. Mm. Join one. Yeah, yes, absolutely. Get out there. Um, one of the things that I'm, I'm very keen on when I'm talking about what I do, it, just to friends or anybody that I meet that's new, is changing the perceptions of what it means to... Um, live well living with um your diagnosis as you know as shirley said huge shock um you know to maybe to actually see it in black and white that sounds off by the way in, yeah. in covid to not even have somebody in front of you explaining things um but as you said life goes on and you don't have to shut yourself away there are loads of great activities on obviously i'm going to um i'm particularly um, keen on people coming to music groups because of the effect of music having on the brain and I think it's really important at this point to say it's completely irrelevant whether you consider yourself to be musical it's not that we're not choir we do make quite a nice noise though don't we and yeah. we do you know we sing in harmony we create harmonies using songs people already know but because the musical memory is is a separate thing. That's why it opens these doors that then stay open for longer in the day, which is really great to hear as well. And getting music on physically changes your chemical makeup in your body. It changes how you feel. Um, if if you really um, are looking around and you can't find something musical near you, then absolutely join anything, the friendship um, aspect of any group. And let's face it if you're going through something the best people that are going to understand that are people that are going through it we can all say oh i can only imagine how you feel but if you're in a group with people that are going through a similar thing to you then that it, it it's going to help for sure and martin and, and ray look it seems to me that, that from what you've told us so far that actually going to the groups makes you feel heard makes you feel oh, safe definitely. makes you feel part without, of something without, without a doubt uh 
When, when did we start with, with, with you? About 18 months, maybe. Probably. Something yeah, like yeah. That. about 18 months yeah. ago. They came to one, and then I told them, you know, we've got other ones around, and then they, they now come. Yeah, but then from that group, we were talking to other carers and people with um, dementia, and they said, oh, don't you know about the others? Mm. <laughs> so you finish up with another group, and then it's, yes. uh, it's great. It is fantastic, yeah. isn't it? As well as trying to keep normality with what we used to do, bowling and things like that. We, yeah. I think that's amazing. You know, it's a joy to meet you all. It really is. I'm yeah. so grateful for you taking time out to come and to come and uh, sit in the yeah. studio with us. It's really kind of you. Carl, we'll get the contact details in a second or two. Martin and Ray, thank you so much. And oh. I guess your advice to other people that are living with dementia is join a group. Yes. Well, I mean, I'm the I'm the person who joined the group. I just ran Kyle up. up. Uh, all I got was a phone number. Didn't know what it was going to come of it. Uh, and here I am now with these three <laughs> nutters. <laughs> I really look forward to these groups. You get up on a Monday morning, I'm going to a group today. Mm. Fantastic. Uh, and I wouldn't have had that if I had just made that call. And uh, perhaps it was a bit of a step into the unknown, but it's turned out very well. Thank you so much for coming in and joining us. It's been a joy. Thanks, Ooh, guys. Thank you. thank you. Can I just say as well, I think, given that Martin, he ever so slightly younger than Ray and Shirley, and I think we very much try and reflect that in our groups because people, I still will have people saying, is it all about, you know, wartime music? Like, Absolutely not. So we, we have a songbook and it's got, it's got Doris Day in there. Oh, <laughs> certainly. But it's also got 10cc in there. It's got Steps in there, hasn't it? Um, we've just put Motown in. We've just completed it, actually. It's got eight songs of a massive wide variety as well as lots of other stuff that we do as well so we very much try and reflect everybody's tastes because it's their group how do people find a group they can find us on facebook we are on instagram musical memory box and we have a website which is of course www.lestermusicalmemorybox.co.uk and uh, our phone numbers are on all of those things we thoroughly encourage people to give us a ring give us a ring we don't have waiting lists so much if if we outgrow a room we'll look for a bigger room i love that it's like <laughs> yeah. this isn't big enough right get a, get a marquee get a bigger room. <laughs> yeah. Thank get you, guys. A <laughs> steady easy tiger <laughs> We had such a nice time chatting, I have to say. That was uh, Kyle Newman there with Shelley and Ray Stokes and Martin Corey. And uh, if you feel like you perhaps or, or your partner or family member will benefit from a group, and one thing I have to say that I've learned this week, speaking to lots of people living with dementia, is that joining a group was really profoundly brilliant for them and really changed their outlook on life. Um, you know, so if, you, if you're interested in a group like any of those that we've been discussing on the show this week, then there is, of course, loads of information available on the Alzheimer's Society website. Just search for support near you on their website and you are bound to find a group uh, that's not too far away. It's 23 minutes past two.